Hey guys, this is Mark with iApple Tech One Toys, and this video I'm be showing you my top apps for iOS. I've been using a lot of really awesome apps lately, and I wanted to show you some of my favorite ones that were um, new to me this year, maybe released this year, but things that I've just really been liking a lot and think maybe it'd be worth checking out for yourself. So first up here, we have Things. This is by far my favorite task manager. It syncs all across iOS on both iPhone and iPad and the Mac. You can do different voice controls with Google Home and Amazon Echo. You can make a task with your voice using Siri and all of those other um, devices. It works incredibly well. And we've made a ton of reviews on it, both their previous version and the latest one, which I have right here. So definitely check that out. If it's a really awesome app, we've probably made a review on it. Not all of them. I'll let you know which ones we have. This one we do have a review on, so check that out so you don't miss um, any of the features where I definitely go in depth more on that than I will in this video. But mainly I use it to manage tasks and ideas for videos, set deadlines, and when things are due, so it worked great for that. Next up is Flipboard. This is my favorite news um, source. I used it way before Apple added their own news app to iOS, and this is just something that I go to all the time, and I check the latest tech news. I only follow really three main sources, so that's where I go to here. Other news sources, I look at maybe like Twitter or something like that, but for my main sources, I follow RSS feeds in here, and that is what Flipboard's really great for, and it allows you to flip through stories really easy, and I just love the way it looks. So that's my favorite news management app. So that's my favorite news management app. Apple's news app is good, but I really prefer this. I've been using it for many, many years. So that's my pick. Next up is YouTube Studio. This is how I reply to comments, check analytics on videos, see how new videos are performing. Um, I'm sure all YouTubers use this, but I'm able to get quick insights and glances. Like we have 1,999 subscribers. We just need one more for 2,000. Um, and I can view all the analytics and everything really quickly right here. So I really like that. It's a nice app, but they finally updated it for iPhone 10 and it allows me to do pretty much everything that I can do on the web interface through, um, the app. Now I just have to say, um, this app, JotSpot, we made it. I still use it all the time and it's been updated recently with a bunch of new features. So I'm not going to go in depth. You can watch our reviews on that and it's our own app. So I'm not going to promote it too much, but check that out. Um, next is actually a pretty cool app. It's called Screens. We made a review on it, I believe. So you can check that review out as well. But this is going to allow you to um, access all of your computers, um, all of your Macs um, on your iOS device. So if you enable screen sharing, you can access different Macs through um, their screen sharing feature. But there's really no way on iOS. But now with this app right here, um, we can do all that right here. And I can control every Mac in the office from my phone or my iPad. It's really awesome. And check that review. I believe we made one on that. I know we have made a review on Shotlister. This is a really nice app for filmmakers who want to plan out every single shot in their movie. And it's a great way to keep me on track when we're filming. And I just recently started using it more because we are now starting to make another movie. And I'm working on a spreadsheet that I will then import into Shotlister and then I can um, schedule those shots. So it's not the best app. If you're using the mobile version, they do have a desktop version. But if you're using the mobile version, it's not the best for making the shot, but for planning it out, it's a really awesome app. And luckily they do allow you to make a spreadsheet and import it into here. So once that's done, it will go into here and check our review on this app. Coming down to our final two, I have a YouTube sub account. This is not actually by YouTube. This is just some random app. It's free and it gives you a live count of your subscribers. And what I really like about this is that if I pull down and I swipe over, it does have a widget. So it will show you your sub counts um, updating all the time. So you can monitor that and it's really easy to look at. You never have to open the app. I never open the app. I just look at the widget and it actually works really nice. And our final app is Mac Tracker. They have an app for the Mac, <laughs> get it? They have an app for the Mac that is really great, but I, um, I like the mobile version as well. This is great for when I'm on the go. I can check the analytics specific. I can check the specifications, prices, 
um, specs on whatever iOS, Mac, Apple device ever made, I can check that all right here and I can get more information about it when I'm making a video, I need to write a script or something, I can get those exact numbers that I need. If I'm writing an article or something, I can get those in numbers. Or if I'm just shopping around or I need to know what specifications my Macs have, I can look at that right here as well. So I can just go in, I can pick my Mac Pro and I can get all of these different numbers on here. And I just used this the other day. I wanted to see what processor series was the Xeon in my Mac Pro. So I look right here and I have the E5-1650. So I can find E5 series and I can look for alternative processors. So um, this is a really great app. It has all these numbers on every single Apple device ever. And I love that one. But there you go. Those are my favorite apps for iOS right now. Let me know if you have any suggestions for other apps I should use. If you want to see another video and if you want to see what I use on my Mac, let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark with Apple Tech 128 and I'll see you in the next one.